Hi guys, a couple of weeks ago I did a presentation on armor and this week I wanted to give a presentation on magic resistance and amplification because it is commonly misunderstood and very different from armor calculations. So the first thing that every Dota should, player should know is that base magic resistance is 25%. Every hero has 25% base magic resistance, meaning a 1000 magic damage nuke will actually do 750 damage to heroes. And there are two exceptions, which is why I put the asterisk Meepo with 35% and Vintage for 10%. Not important for most intents and purposes, uh, but what you should know is that most heroes will take 75% damage from magic. And going to the actual formula, the nitty gritty, the math, formula for damage done after resistances and amplifications. And resistances come from things like Glimmer Cape, from Hood, uh, from a casual cloak, whatever it may be, amplifications or things like Ancient Seal, uh, Ancient Apparitions, Icy Vortex, Veil of Discord, Ethereal Blade, Debuff, uh, Pugna, Offensive Decrepify, so on and so forth. Just so you can get an idea of what each of these terms mean. So your actual damage that you're going to do to heroes is equal to your magical damage times reduction times amplification. Seems pretty easy, uh, but I'm going to go through each of the terms. Firstly, magical damage. This is just your tooltip damage, what it says in Dota 2. So your lightning bolt, level 4 from Zeus, is going to do 350 magical damage. That is the tooltip damage, uh, what it would do if heroes had zero magic resistance. What it does to creeps, basically. Uh, so that's the first term. For your calculations, your second term will be reduction, which is 1 minus resistance bonus 1 times 1 minus resistance bonus 2 times 1 minus resistance bonus 3, so on and so forth, for however many resistance bonuses that you have. Uh, so you will almost always have at least one term, which is going to be your innate hero resistance of 25%, and then a cloak will give you an extra 20, hood will give you an extra 30, and so on and so forth. Uh, for amplification, it's very similar. One plus amplification bonus, because you're doing more damage, you're adding, uh, let's say, 45% from Ancient Seal, uh, one plus amplification bonus two, let's just say 30% from Icy Vortex, and so on and so forth for however many sources that you have. And after you multiply all three of these terms together, you get the actual damage. So what are the implications of this formula? How can we use this to our benefit? How does this affect our choices inside the game of Dota 2? So firstly, I'm going to do some reduction theory crafting. This is the term that I pulled from the last slide. And the first thing that you should notice is the formula is multiplicative, not additive. Uh, if it were additive, it is not. Uh, if it were additive, the formula would be 1 minus and then adding all the sources together. Uh, which means a Meepo with 35% resist with a Glimmer Cape, 66%, just adding these two terms together, you'd get 101 magic percent resistance and be immune to magic damage. And that is as ludicrous as it sounds, which is why it doesn't work that way. Um, or else we'd see Meepos always get Glimmer Capes and just make one of their Meepos completely invulnerable and just own spellcasters all day. They kind of do anyways, but... A multiplicative formula means that you get diminishing returns on magic resistance items, and it is impossible to reach 100% magic resistance with items. Um, fairly straightforward, I say. Let's say you have like 50% times 50% times 50%, it will only be 0.125, and then 50%, so on and so forth. You're never actually going to reach zero. You can reach close to zero, but not zero. And your first hood your 30% magic resistance will give you a total of 47.5%, uh, just plugging in 25% here and 30% here, natural resistance as well as item, uh, for an effectiveness of 22.5% magic resist um, with this 30% item, and it's diminished by 25% because of your hero resistance. So you get diminishing returns on items, which is why you rarely see heroes get like two cloaks, let's say, or uh, two hoods, and it's just not very effective as opposed to heroes that like stack armor with like Shiva's plus AC. Sometimes you'll uh, see these sort of things gotten in Dota, but I don't remember the last time that I've seen multiple hoods on the same person or multiple uh, cloaks. So on to the other side of the term, amplification theory crafting. Not too much on this side. Whoops. 
Um, amplification equals one plus amp bonus times one plus amp bonus two, and so on and so forth, just pulled from the last slide. And this formula is also multiplicative, not additive. Uh, but since we're multiplying positive numbers together, uh, positive numbers greater than one, this means stacking magic reduction is better than adding the two sources alone. For example, if you have a veil with 25% and an ethereal blade for 40%, it will give an amplification factor of 1.75x, not 1.65x, which means that stacking magic reduction is really, really good if you have a lot of magic damage on your team. And that is very cool. And it is very beneficial to get multiple magic items as opposed to getting multiple magic reduction items. Uh, for some reason, I wrote reduction here, but I meant, I meant amplification. Stacking magic amplification is better than adding the two sources alone. And additional notes, not all numbers are created equal. Let's say you wanted to negate a hero's base resistance and do 100% magic damage to a hero. Let's say you're Zeus, you want to do 350 damage to a normal hero. So your formula would, how much amplification would you need is the actual question. So the formula to figure this out, reduction times amplification equals 100%. 100% uh, minus your natural 25 uh, times 100% plus your amplification factor equals 100%. Solving for A using a little very basic algebra we get a equals one-third so a equals 33.33 percent meaning you need 33.33 percent magic amplification to counter 25 percent magic reduction uh, so as you can see you need more magic amplification uh, point for point to negate resistance which is an interesting concept uh, and how about against an anti-mage? An anti-mage with max spell shield has 50% magic resistance from abilities and 25% base magic resistance. Uh, so how, how much amplification would you need to counter that? Uh, so we plug in the reduction factor, except we have an additional term here of 50% from the spell shield, and then this ends up being 75 times 50%. And then solving for A at the very end of the day, you get A equals 266.67%. That is a lot of amplification. And by comparison, Icy Vortex plus an Ethereal Blade plus Max ETR is only amplification equals 242%. So as you can see, it's not a very viable way to stack uh, magic amplification to counter an anti-mage. It's much better to deal with them with spells or, or with physical damage or pure damage uh, and rather than try and overcome that 50% magic resistance. Because as you can see, three very potent auras don't even get past that, which is a little bit absurd. Um, and this is why Dota is so cool. You need different counters to counter different things. You can't just brute force it a lot of the time. So just to prove some of the basic concepts to you, I'm going to have a level four elder or level four aura elder titan try and do some damage to a level nine anti-mage with level four spell shield and a zeus with normal magic resistance so gonna do this and then we're gonna check the combat log so zeus takes 150 so this does 33 percent uh base resist reduction so as you can see uh, to counter the 25 percent basic resist uh, he does 150 with this, and it did pretty much 150 with the in the combat log, aside from uh, just some rounding. So in order to counter his 25% base, you have to get 33% uh, base resist reduction. And for anti-mage, you are just going to do pathetically low damage. Uh, target anti-mage, refresh, you're going to do 74 damage pretty much half of uh, that last term. So his astral spirit is just pathetically weak versus a hero like anti-mage. 75, he might as well just like punch him once and <laughs> you'll pretty much do 75 damage. So hope you took something away from that. Remember, stacking magic reduction is not that effective. Stacking magic amplification is very, very effective and it's completely different from armor. So there you have it, guys. Magic resistance and amplification. Thank you guys for watching. Join me for the next videos. Please subscribe to youtube.com slash Dota if you haven't already. Have a good one.